Hey there guys, in today's video, I am going to be showcasing the Avian Advent Calendar. Now this is a product put together by the Leather Elves. It is 25 days of DIY toy parts that you can use to build all sorts of different toys for your companion parrots. Uh, I'm actually going to be working with them and creating 25 different video tutorials. Uh, one for every single day, for every single box that you open as part of your advent calendar. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, you want to make sure to stick around because that's going to be coming up right after this. <laughs> guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird, where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. And in today's video, I wanted to showcase a project that I am working on with the Leather Elves, which is going to be the Avian Advent Calendar. Now they put together this wonderful product. There will be a link to this product in the description section down below. But this product is an advent calendar of DIY toy parts. So for every single day, for every single box that you guys open up, I am going to put together a video tutorial for a different toy for your companion parrot. And the goals here are several. First of all, we want to make sure that you guys are able to build a toy every single day. Uh, there's the goal of working with toy parts that maybe you haven't worked with before. Maybe there's something your bird hasn't been exposed to or perhaps hasn't been interested in. So if we work through this, hopefully we can find new ways to get your bird interested in all sorts of new and different things. And we're also going to be working on building different techniques for building toys. Developing your toy building techniques is going to be a great thing you can do in the care of your bird. Now, when you get your Avian Advent Calendar, uh, when you open it up, you're going to find a couple of things. You are going to find 25 individually numbered boxes. Each of them are going to have the toy parts for that given day. Um, there was a little bit of space, as you can imagine, because with 25 boxes, um, they don't fit uh, completely filling up this box. So you actually got some packing material you can use as well. This red and green crinkle paper, which I think it's great that there is a packaging material that is also doubling as a component of building bird toys. Now there are a couple of things I am going to recommend you have on hand for building these toys. These are tools that I use regularly and I cannot encourage them enough. First and foremost, one of the most useful tools in your parrot toy making arsenal is going to be a plain pair of scissors. Uh, make sure you have a good sharp pair of scissors. Trying to cut things with dull scissors can be uh, a bit of a safety hazard. Obviously, we're trying to celebrate our parrots, give them something joyful, give them 25 days of toys, not give them a very quiet day as you spend the day in the emergency room getting stitches. Make sure you've got good scissors. Uh, I also like to utilize needle nose pliers. This set of needle nose pliers has a pair of wire cutters in it as well. Uh, I like needle nose pliers because if I'm tying knots in things like rope, cord, or leather, I can use these needle nose pliers to get that knot a little bit tighter. That way I know it's not gonna fall apart on me. If you are comfortable in your knot tying skills, that's probably something you can avoid, but I have to admit that as many toys as I have made, um, for me, using the needle nose pliers definitely comes in handy. I am also going to recommend uh, something to punch holes. Now, a basic hole punch will work for most things, um, but again, since it is uh, an advent calendar, part of this is that Christmas-themed, joyful, happy presents, uh, perhaps it would be a good time to get a present for yourself. One of the things I recommend is the Crocodile Big Bite. 
It punches multiple sizes of holes. It gives you the ability to measure where you are setting those holes. Since it has this wide throat, uh, you are not limited to where you are placing the holes in those items. So it's incredibly useful when it comes to putting together all kinds of parrot toys. So if you guys are interested in any of those items, I'll also put links to those in the description section down below. That way you guys can be all prepared when the videos for these toy tutorials start coming out. Again, since this is an advent calendar, we'll be starting on December 1st and we'll do one toy tutorial every single day. So I certainly hope that you guys are able to tune in and watch all of that as it happens. I'm really, really excited to get to work with this entire setup. Uh, I know Robin over at the Leather Elves has worked very, very hard putting together a variety of different toy parts that can all be used in different ways. Now, a couple of other questions some people may have. What size bird are these toys going to be made for? Uh, the goal here is to make toys that can be appropriate for just about any size bird. Uh, now, obviously, if you have a very large bird, a very prolific chewer, um, maybe the toys won't last as long as they would for a smaller bird that isn't prone to uh, fits of destruction, but they will still represent a unique offering that you can give your bird every single day. Another question is, are every single box going to be a toy in and of itself? Some of the boxes will be toys just by themselves. Uh, obviously on day one, we are going to be limited to what comes in that first box. But some of the toys, as we are moving on, as we are going forward, uh, will use some of the leftover pieces that we have from previous days. Of course, if you are an accomplished parrot toy builder, you don't have to follow these tutorials. Uh, you can, of course, build whatever you want to your heart's content. But the idea was, again, that you would be able to build all of these different toys, build your different techniques, and have so many different things that you could offer your bird. So I certainly hope that you guys will find these tutorials helpful. If you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of these tutorials, you wanna make sure that you subscribe to the High Red Bird channel. Uh, and I certainly hope to see you guys I need to say thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting High Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks!